thingy to better tell me when this is live. Okay, anyway, hello, my friends, and anyone else who might be there. Nah, if you're watching, you're probably a friend. Glad you could join us. Uh, Gooms and I here, ready for another exciting uh, episode, session, what have you, of ukulele. It could be fiends, you don't know. I don't judge. If you're fiends, but still support us, then... I I think you're cool too, even if you don't think we're cool. I question your motives, but I don't, uh, uh, I appreciate them all the same. I appreciate the results yeah. all the same. Que question your motives, to bo but don't question your support. Hello. Yes. <coughs> Hello. Whoop. Mm. Excellently um loaded that twice. Um We are going back to Moody Maze Marsh, which um was probably the most impressive area so far. Indeed. At least as a whole. Oh. Whew. Thought the game froze for a sec there. That was there's loading times, and then there's slowing times. Alright, let's see. As I recall, we had a couple more uh, pages that we could get at this point, and then I was going to expand the world. Mostly, I think Rextro... Uh, why did you let me grab that? I Off think to a great start already. <laughs> I think uh, Rextro was uh, was the main thing. Uh, there was some other stuff here and again too, though. Uh, oh, oh yeah, there was like a power plant factory down there. I think as well that was like well, maybe we should check that out. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to acquaint myself with the. With this layout, just because I haven't actually seen it from this uh, this height. This is always kind of neat when a, a game lets you uh, uh, plays with levels lo like this or verticality like this lets you uh, come up high and or where you work your way up uh, a level, so you eventually see uh, can look down and see everywhere you were running around before. I always think yeah, that's neat. I I, I agree. Um, the I'm playing through the Spyro trilogy right now, and the, all of the levels that have some kind of um, verticality like this, I usually consider the best ones because they give you a better overview of the world to explore it, and also you can. It's like actual platforming. It's more fun to navigate it. Yeah. All right, well, I walked in a loop, so in case you were wondering how to get back there, uh, I just showed you. Okay, so probably I have to go over to this way, and then not take that. Right, so I schlepped over here, tussled with these dudes, hit a butterfly. I don't know why I was down a hit point, but I'm not anymore. More uncomfortable uh, uh, caricatures. And. Is well, that really a caricature? Maybe? I mean, a caricature usually implies there's some kind of human element beneath the freakiness. Whereas, I think uh, Vendi is just an abomination to her very core. Oh. Well, no, that's just an uncomfortable character design. I was talking about the shopping carts. Oh. Um. And that's another loop. Glad we're uh, making progress there. 
Alright, you know what, this is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to complete the loop, because uh, I know there's a pipe that I can take as an actual factual shortcut. Yeah, they might be, uh, a... they might be that, that but <clears throat> I hope not, because making fun of homeless people is not a very nice thing to do. It, I, I was kind of thinking about that, like, I mean, y you have bum characters, that's, uh, like, ow, oh, friggin' Ollie the Magic Bum, that's, seems fine. I, I don't... Yeah, it's a little dip it's a little too real when it's a shopping cart. I think though, like a lot of those bum characters are like they're more like early twentieth century bums than people that actually exist these days. I suppose. It's always a little weird when you mix modern iconography into something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> right. I think I'm going to do Rextro first and then I'll explore the underwater uh, area. Just like carrying a bindle or something like that. Um, that's always kind of... <clears throat> Very few people really do that, so I'm I'm okay with that kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, I didn't do anything with the uh, fire pumpkins in the swamp. Uh, uh, but that I was going to wait until I expanded, because it didn't look like I could really get out that far. Actually, do I have the coin for this world yet? Is this a memory joke? Oh no, okay. He's just weird. Oh, yep, now I have a ride! I must have gotten it last episode and didn't remember. Alright, this one is Bebop. Alright, Swamp is under attack by bad guys. Only radical drones can defend area by beating corplets. Cowboy Bebop. Yes, apparently. <laughs> I think it should be Bebop Bash, but that's just me. Yeah, that would be... That sounds like a uh, Donkey Kong Country song. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> yes, truly we are Cowboy Bebop at his computer. I see ukulele... Uh, trying for uh, Smash Bros. at an early uh, stage. I mean, they did get into that one Smash Bros. knockoff game. Forget what it, which one it was. Brawl Hall or one of them. I don't know if it was. It was uh, like it was one that uh, Shovel Knight made it in, wasn't it? Might have been. Don't get me wrong, no matter what my feelings are on the, this game ultimately, I'm always uh, happy to see uh, uh, see him doing well enough to be uh, an indie darling, or uh, oh, make yeah. it with the For, uh, indie big names. For sure. Um, especially since Impossible Lair is a, good, is a great game. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to do that at some point, too. Yeah. Though by now I feel like I would have to do it on stream. <laughs> oh, is, is that weird? I feel like I'm now committed. I've played one of the games, now I feel committed to doing all of the games on stream. 
Uh, maybe no. Not, maybe not anytime soon, mind you, but... Yeah. I, I can understand wanting to keep up that mom momentum. So this uh, this mini game's kind of nothing. Yep. It's alright though. It's always nice being able to play as another character. Yeah. Have I made the high score yet? Or I have to do it twice for high score, don't I? Rivals of Ether? No, I don't think so. I think it was, uh, it was something in 3D. <laughs> I think that one would make a better Donkey Kong Country bonus level than, like, a Banjo-Kazooie bonus level. Oh, I would because agree. because those tend to be more simple and more forgivable for being simple. They're just like breaks in the action. Yeah. That's kind of an interesting thought exercise, though. What would work as a uh, uh, 2D uh, platformer mini game, and what would work as a 3D platformer mini game? Yeah. I think 3D platformer mini games have to like they they tend to showcase like some new mechanic or some kind of exploration focused something whereas um the 2D ones are just like a short challenge to break up the action. And, and and a lot of times with the um, 2D ones, half of it is um, is just finding the bonus loan bonus challenge, so they can. Um, I notice in the Donkey Kong Country series, a lot of times, if a bonus challenge is really hard to find, they'll make the bonus challenge itself a lot easier than normal. Oh. oh, interesting. I don't know if I've noticed that, but that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been playing through the GBA version of Donkey Kong Country 3 recently, and I've kind of been picking up on that a little bit this time around. Uh, that Z-axis always messing me up. <laughs> Alright, that's the score I got last time, and now I've beaten it. So you just have to set a score and then beat it? Well, no, it kind of seems like the first run is completely arbitrary, since this, the high score I have to beat is Rextro's, not my own. See? Oh. Okay. I had beaten Rextro's anyway, I just wanted to beat my own for personal flex. Gotcha. You know, luckily this isn't a uh, speed racing in uh, terrace sort of situation. I mean, that's not unlike any other video game. Just... Uh, sorry, I can't. I can't stop Ganon from taking over the world. I have to uh, first race this ghost around. Well, no, no. In oh, nice. Uh, the the specific thing in uh, Kotor is that since the se since you have to do the race twice, uh, the the second race 
uh, or the framing of the second race where it's like, oh no, he just beat your high score. You have to, he just beat your time. You have to do better than your previous time. Since it's always based on your time, theoretically, if you did like friggin' Taz level of uh, perfection on your first run, uh, you're screwed. Yeah. I, I bet the speedrunners probably try not to go too well the first round just to keep it safe. Yeah, probably. That's an interesting consideration if you're um, doing it not on task, though. Yeah. Uh, I, you... I, bet it, I bet it leads to a lot of resets. You know, I don't know that I've actually seen a uh, uh, speedrun of a uh, uh, of an RPG. The the concept sounds wild to me, but uh, they're very very long. I'd imagine, and that's probably it's why I haven't it's seen especially, them. Especially hundred percent runs that do all things like the mini games like that. Oh frig! I bet. Like, isn't there? Uh, uh, what is it? Bait and Kratos or whatever? That's uh, friggin' days long oh yeah there's there's one speed run I think it might be that that was like a, a hundred days long damn uh, though granted a lot of that is because you have to get there's like this farming gimmick and you have to uh, connect to some other game or something and um, do it all in real time so you just have to wait a certain amount of time so it's not like you're playing that full hundred hours or whatever oh that's a relief I was trying to uh, I'd been wondering what what madman would create a game that takes a hundred days to play yeah no it's it's one of those real-time uh, real-time effects the in-game things. Okay, sure. Let's see. Uh, did you do the high scores in the other Rextra arcades? I feel like you didn't. I did. Uh, I, at least I did do uh, um, the one in uh, Glitter Glaze. I might need to do Tribal Stack. And um, there was another game. Uh, one of the Harvest Moons that... Um, part of the speed run is playing an entirely different game so that you can unlock all of the content from that game that you get with a link cable. I suppose? Which is kind of fascinating. It's... The idea of an unusual speedrun is weird to me because a speedrun is almost by itself its own set of rules. Mm -hmm. uh, just the idea of something that that breaks uh, breaks the core concept of it. Of well, technically you have to do this. That, that yeah, just kind of boggles my mind. I mean, that's why there's so many categories of speedrunning to begin with. There's not just 100% and any percent, there's also glitchless and then um, all kinds of specific goals. Then there's all forts in Mario 3 and all levels sometimes. Oh, sure. All, all cards in um, Paper Mario because you can skip a bunch of the chapters in that game. Yeah, low percent's another one. True enough. <laughs> so... I'm, curi I'm eager to find out what breaks glass if a grenade doesn't. This game is so arbitrary. <laughs> well, obviously, a grenade is not a uh, a 
grenade is not the right key for this glass lock. <laughs> yeah, you have the super so sonar, that's probably what it is. Oh, right. The area burst thing. I have to remember how I do that now. I think it's... No, no, I have to do springy. Nope. Can you get underneath it and break it? Oh, wait. Oh, like right there. Ah. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do it like that, but what the hell. Uh, no. Is there like a block? There uh -oh. we go. Nope. Okay, no. I thought there might be a block you have to push and then stand on that, but that does not do it either, I don't know. This game is now even more arbitrary. Yeah. Alright, this is probably a decent point to expand the world. So like, can I can I just return to hub or will that be is that bad form? Your progress nah, will be saved. Okay, yeah, I'm just doing that. What was the other thing that I got in this world? It was something that you could... Do. Oh, it's the tether tongue. Yep. That's not what it's called, but I like that better. Yes, yes, you're big spooky. Alright. the tongue lash lizard. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he ha ha ho ha he he ho. Who? All right, let's see what wackiness awaits. I appreciate that this is Purple Tentacles uh, world. <laughs> Didn't know that you could use chuffing or like that. See, I learn more about Brit speak with these games all the time. Oh, like oh. There we go. So I did need to expand it. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. They I do. were very impressive. Ooh, they were very proud of all those areas, so they had to show them off one by one to us. Well, of course. Very important we know. I note with some dismay that uh, there didn't seem to be anything about that uh, pane of uh, bomb-proof glass. Yep. Well, uh, we'll figure that out. Or not. Hey, bomb again. That was almost dangerous, but it wasn't. Alright. Well, sucks to be you. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for, uh, dropping me off. You know, it was great fun. Uh, I was up there, but, uh, now I'm down here, and I feel like I've really accomplished something. The real elevator was the friends we met along the way. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Oh. 
Ow. I have to do it like this. And then up here... There we go. Uh, didn't actually have to go there, but that's okay. Alright, we go here. Oh, they trapped me! I got got! That was very challenging. Good thing I was able to overcome all that hardship and difficulty. <laughs> Careful, one of them almost came close to getting within range of hitting you once. Well, I got a trophy, so I got that working out for me. Alright, here we go. Now we're doing interesting stuff with our tongue. Good, okay. Good god, that has to hurt, though. Well, in theory, this is mostly just like, here's the thing use it on the thing, but maybe this will do something? Yeah. They're trying with this mechanic, at least. You know, it's the Donkey Kong 64 thing, isn't it? Like how you uh, can only use peanuts on the peanut switches? Yeah. Yeah. That is kind of fun, though. Yeah, definitely context-sensitive. Clever. It's at least not as blatant as that, but... It's still there. Hey, man. I made it up here. Give me... Give me... I earned it. I earned you. I don't have to go through that way. I'm right here. I feel like you probably could have spring jumped onto the platform back there. Eh, maybe. There. I made it. Whoop, nope, that one ain't gonna fly. It's not gonna glide, either. Alright, I probably have to do it like this. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> wait, nope, I have to wait for it to stop being fire. Yeah, th that part right there, though. I like that you have to time... Ow, time bad, ow, sucky, ow, bad. Or not. Okay, never mind, I hate it. <laughs> nope. Oh, no, I have to use the fire power to tank fire. Oh. That's dumb. It going on and off suggests that you just have to wait. Yeah. Well, let's okay. make our way back. <laughs> I thought 100% that that was the Corona Mountain Flames, but I guess not. Let's see. You know, this world is kind of linear. Yeah. I do like a little bit of linearity, though, just enough to suggest, uh, direction. Yeah, but, like, this is an obstacle course, or this whole world is an obstacle course with each pagey being a separate island. This is a very literal, uh, depiction of, uh, what this world is. Which, this still feels like the best world, so I've got, I've got mixed feelings about that, but... Yeah. Um, I think the 
before you expanded it was a little better because um, it was more branching design rather than just a here's an island then go to beat that and go to the next island and beat that and etc. Yeah. Like it had many different lines rather than just one line. And what's your story, Morning Glory? Probably supposed to come the other way. Well, then I'll just walk here. But yeah, it's weird to call the best world in, in an exploration focused game the one with the least exploration, and it's. Um, even if it's designed the best, it kind of sends the wrong message because I think exploration focused games can be really good. It just doesn't happen to be. This particular one doesn't happen yeah. to be that good. Oh, I have to stomp on this fire button. That's what was holding me up before. I see. Those dastardly fire buttons. And to be honest, from what I can recall, the expanded world really has that one straight line. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Once you get to this point, I definitely remember things opening up a bit. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, so that was the straight line, uh, and now it's sprawling a little bit. Well, that's good. I like this pumpkin dude. He's my favorite character. Okay. He's funny. Sure. I miss hoops. There we go. See, now that's how you make it interesting. Yeah, exactly. Just alter your timing a little bit. Basic platformer stuff. Ow, whoa, ow, who, how? Um, okay. Luckily, it sure. seems I was supposed to do that. Alright, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, Wolf Whistle over here. Oh, it's that thing up there. Alright, uh, now, how do I do this? Whoa. Come on, Lakitu. I was just thinking that. Okay, so that's up there. I know you had a busy night last night, but just work with me, okay? I feel like that shouldn't have worked. Okay, can I make it all the hell the way over there? Probably. Not nope. quite. But maybe from this branch. Oop, easy, easy. There's a pipe back there where the pagey was. Yep, I'll uh, get to that in just a sec. Are you going to unity your way up there? I might just have to. Maybe, can you spring? Nope, that was yeah, that. spring forward. You needed to spring forward a little bit. And you did that time. Wanted to make you hadn't missed that. <laughs> okay, game. 
I don't think they thought through how uh, uh, tongue mechanics work. No, not at least in terms of how it applies to fall damage. And that pipe would have just emptied out here, so it's just a nice little loop. Why does that pipe exist, then? If I just... well, whatever. Why do I always forget words when I'm typing? See, that was your opportunity for, to forget a word in that sentence. found out her name yet? I think so, but I forget. Oh wait, she's talking about breaking glass. This is going to be the supersonic. Oh, I know that's the wrong one. This one. Everybody supersonic racing. Yeah. Have a kid keep your feet right on the ground. <laughs> I appreciate the added effect of it clearing the mist. Indeed. That would... Oh, I wanted to eat that. Next gem. Oh. Apparently I Sonic boomed the quote away. Yeah. We got the next gem fun though, so we got all we needed. Yes. dollars to donuts that pipe is oh why thank you I was afraid I'd have to track all the way back here anyway I bet you this pipe leads back home yep well close enough hey, 
See ya. Oh no, that's just him. Betcha that's a heart piece or something. I can probably swim in that water. Yeah, it's maybe. Uh, it's hard to tell. Swamp water is pretty ambiguous in these kinds of games. True enough. I need to give him something to eat. It's down here. Okay, well, it turns out we can swim down here, so if you're worried about not being able to, don't worry about it. Right below that guy was an ice plant that Whoa. you could feed him with. Yeah. Alright, so for the record, we can do a sonic burst in a bubble. Sure. Hot switch hollow. Okay. Arbitrary reasons. Well, no. Obviously, I can roll. I just... Or, I can't roll. But I can uh, deploy uh, uh, sonic bursts. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be able to roll in the round. That would make too much sense. I also can't use my tongue underwater, but I feel that's completely fair. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of electricity. Oh, right. I can swim underwater, that's an option. Who would have thought? So, as long as we're narrowing down our list of things we can and can't do underwater, swimming, something we can do. Oh, I thought that was a dramatic camera pan. Alright, so theoretically, I needed to have timed this. Nope. And you didn't. Okay, so probably how I want to be doing this is. Oh, yeah, I messed myself up there. Okay, so if I get it so that it's on the upbeat here, then I should get it on the downbeat over there. Nope, I messed up. Come on, come on! Ah, you wily dastard. Well, I'm in the loop again. Oh, come off it! I think that was close. Yeah, I think that was close too. It keeps going. Alright. Switches don't stop being a thing. 
can't uh, switch it off. Ah. Okay, so. Can't stop switching, baby. Come on. I think I've lost it. Yep. Damn. Well, maybe I can recover it. did recover it. Last pass, Pagey. Alright, let me out. Alright. Just making sure there isn't anything else down here. Yeah, I think it was just the extra heart container and the hot foot, hot switch hotel. Okay, uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna deal with that. Did you wanna find find that ghost rider again and feed him? Well, it's not really a question of want so much as... Yeah, okay. Hold on. Nice. Thank you, Unity. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Was worth a shot. <laughs> I think the bog standard one is the only one I got left then. Alright. Let's see. Probably I'll be okay if I'm uh, holy poly. Yep. Oh! Nope, 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 nope. Apparently, this whole thing You're just very frowny. You are decidedly not okay. Do I just slide off of this in general, or...? I do, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to get up. Save myself the trouble. Nope. Not worth, not worth. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some health before trying that again. You think the idea why they made the roll so hard to control is because your talent trotting like a hundred percent of the time in Banjo Kazooie. I wanted to make you not do that as much. I don't know. I'd hope not. Um, I don't think there's anything bad with having the run be the default option or the yeah. player preferred default. Um, like, what would I gain specifically from walking everywhere versus uh, rolling around? <laughs> the second look like the size are going to possess Yuka's corpse. Hey, this isn't uh, this isn't uh, color splash. We're not we aren't dealing with uh, friggin' uh, body horror. <laughs> Alright. Here's another obstacle course. Alright. 
Oh, do I? Oh. Oop. Oh boy. I generally like these platforming segments, but do they all have to be like these hoop platforming things? Ow. I think they'd separate, they'd have more platforming, just in general, besides. Here's the platforming segment where you jump through the rings. I don't know. That's sort of it. They're, um... I mean, moving around as you can lately is fine enough, but there's not a ton of diversity in how they move. Uh-huh. Um, they... Don't get me wrong, they got moves, but there's not a lot of diversity in how they move. It, it, it again co all comes back to that uh, locks and keys sort of mentality, where uh, everything is context sensitive, Everything, every move is, a, is designed to be a, a, a key for a specific lock that is a, a game puzzle or a game challenge. Uh, I think I think that the level design doesn't shift their momentum very much. They're just always kind of ambling around at a safe speed. Yeah. Well, visual variety, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, that feels like a consequence of just how the game is laid out, where uh, there are so many distinctly separate areas for this is this challenge area, this is this challenge area. Uh huh. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Also, apparently, this hurts enemies. I didn't really realize that. The roll? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it hurts. At I least I told you that. At least knocks him out of the way. I'd imagine that's why uh, they got it on a timer. Yeah. Oh, this is just a. This is just a dock. Now what do those do? I will find out after I walk over there. Ow. Well, that was easily avoidable. Really? Okay. Oh, this guy again? I like that guy. In Impossible Lair, he says, um... Uh... One, he says, there, there's a pay, there's some, some sort of collectible hidden somewhere, and I'm not going to tell you where, but someone on the online has found it by now. Oh, oh, he's that guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to knock them down. Oh, they're... tongue puzzles? <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, actually, I kind of... I am always a fan of marble mazes. Oh, but yeah, I have to I guess. beat up the mushrooms first. It's weird conceptually, but I guess it's not that bad. Oh. 
There we go. Just, I mean, just those two? If I were less charitable, I'd say it's like billiards and Sonic 06, but... <laughs> Not nearly that bad. Oh, Wally, that's the uh, shopping cart that was having us bust up the mushrooms. Alright, so I just have to clear out these mushrooms so I can plant some mushrooms. It's the, the fat mushrooms that you want. I don't like skinny mushrooms. Nobody wants a skinny Santa. That's a deep pull. <laughs> Not in my household. <laughs> oh, they grew back? Fine. Hey, you, Shram, get back here. No. Done. There we go. Oh, sure. Come on. There we go, Fred. So why was Elf Prack just the only one that became a mainstream meme? Hell if I know, that movie's so <laughs> quotable. <laughs> like... Ah... Uh, I swear, we, that's one that we quote all the time in my house. Uh, the, uh, well, it's thick like peanut butter. You mean pea soup. You eat what you like, and I'll eat what I like. Uh, all right, what did I get? Extra health slots. We'll move less power. Fall proof. Your turn is faster. Order. Oh. Huh. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. But I can only have one at a time. I definitely would rather have Hunter. Yep. It would probably be useful for the 100% sense, speaking wrong. Yeah. Did you know that Bumble's Bounce? Yeah, that's a favorite. <laughs> We always quote the one that's like, um, um, put your heart into it. That bumble's hungry. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> that's right. So, um, it, uh, it, every Christmas it's, uh, it's a bit of a thing for my, uh, when my mom, uh, wraps presents, she'll, uh, like most of them, she'll say from mom or from mom and dad or something, but sometimes she'll, uh, she'll just have it be random characters. Like, like, you know, when you're a kid, you always get presents from Santa and stuff. Um, my mother never really stopped that, so, it, she just expanded her repertoire. So, like, I'll get stuff from, uh, usually it's the tall elf with the glasses, specifically. <laughs> oh, wait, we were here already. Yeah, we just did a little. Is that his name, the tall elf with the glasses? <laughs> it's the, uh... All right, this is this is this will test your knowledge. Uh, you remember in the uh, "We Are Santa's Elves" song, there's the one uh, tall elf with the glasses who, I, I think he has a pair of scissors and he ends up cutting the feather off of another elf's hat. Uh, yeah, that because guy. it keeps because it keeps poking him in the eye. Yeah, yeah, he's he's uh, sort of an unofficial uh, Christmas mascot for us. <laughs> Uh, doesn't look like there's any more uh, quills around here. I think I got most of them uh, last time when we fought uh, Trev. Okay. Let's see. 
Now that's overall. Da 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 da. Uh, Twenty. That's pretty solid, actually. Uh huh. I think you were right about am I having sequence broke over to this island last time? Yeah, probably. Um, si since. Yeah, because it dumps you right out at the door, and uh, I feel like the game in general is trying to have the boss fights in the uh, first half, or the, the second half of uh, each world. Oh well. Alright, well what should I do? Should I... Uh, 20 pages in this world is pretty good, I think. Uh, should I try to look for the last five, or should I just... Try and move on to the next world. It's up to SG, probably. Yeah, I would say ya. Ow. Well, that was easily avoided. But yeah, th this area was was best. I think it did end up kind of just being a bunch of challenges loosely tied to each other. But, I mean, that's better than here's a huge empty map with a bunch of loose challenges scattered around, I think. Yeah, yeah like, uh, Glitter Glaze. Uh, you're planning on going back and clearing out the stuff you missed in the earlier worlds later in the game, right? Probably, yeah. Uh, uh, they're, they're definitely, um, it feels like there's at least one or two pages in Tribal Stack that I won't be able to get until I get a power up in the later world, which suggests to me the game's really designed around coming back much later in the game to complete stuff. I know I did this already, I'm just kind of using the excuse to look around. I think there's a way to go, jump, go back a little. Over here? Yeah, I think, look down. Is that a quill on one of those islands? Uh, no. Yeah. That was, uh... So, not right there. Oh yeah, no, that's not a quill. That's just some yellow stock. Just a mushroom. I was impressed my tongue stretched that far. <laughs> kind of gotten turned around here. Oh, this is where I am. I just kind of did a full circuit there. Alright, so I know at least... Uh, yeah, I'm finding I can't think of much else you can do at this point you haven't done yet, aside from the yellow ghost rider. Yeah, that was the dude who was on fire like a peasant. Uh, I don't actually remember where he's hiding. But it would have been somewhere I could get in the first half, so... I'm uh, back out of here. There might be more stuff in the water with the uh, transformation. Oh, there's definitely the uh, uh, bomb-proof glass something there. The bomb-proof and sonic-proof glass. Yes. I wasn't paying The, the bomb-proof and sonic-proof cracked glass all that. It's, um, it's cracked in a very specific way, you understand. As in the lake itself, not the one who... Eh, it's supposed to be worth checking out that area, anywho. It'll be Trouser. Must be at a weird angle. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll I'll gradually make my way over to that uh, lake. Let's say I'm also blanking on specific things that you need to later. Also, aside from the glass, I need to do later. Oh, so it is some new power we don't have. Mm -hmm. yeah, you need the friggin' atom bomb punch. Yeah, we need we need the spray can of glass be gone. <laughs> There you go. That's that's it. That's it exactly. A uh, hammer in a can, they like to call it. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure if you've done everything you can do at this point or not. Hmm. They, they should have a, a a pencil statue later, and you have to. You can only get past it with the pencil eraser. <laughs> yes. Probably at least a few things I can come back for. I guess I'll do a. a yeah, I guess I'll make my way over to that lake over this way. Um, I'll see uh, if there's anything new to see under the water, uh, and after that I think I'm gonna move on. Alright. Just for variety's sake. When I double back, I can... Uh, 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 yeah, precisely. Uh, when I when I double back, maybe having a fresh set of eyes will help me see things that I might have missed earlier. Wait, go back. Yep. I think on the other platform. To to the right? No. Oh. Well, that one was a thing. This was a, uh, a page oh, thing one before. Of those guys. I thought it was a quill, but it's just one of those guys. Okay. That was a quill, but it's a nerd. Oh wait, is that something down there? Might be. I'm gonna swim and see. Yeah, I think I saw a pipe that led to the quills coming out of it. Oh, that heals. It's a long up. Yeah, right there. Oh. I am in fact too wussy as a school of fish to get in there. Alright, well, let's see what else there is to do down here. Really? Maybe so the troll's only good for friggin' the one thing? Must be an exit pipe. Hopefully. Alright, now that one I know we did. Yeah, we. Yeah, we, that was the one thing. The vines. That. And is that the only thing they're good for? Cripes, I hope. Or is there not. another vine patch? Oh, definitely seeing more than one vine patch. Okay, let's poke around. Uh, yes. Little. So that's just a thing. That's a thing. Oh, right here. Okay. Alright. Good. Good, 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 good. I see. Threading the needle there. Dusky duct. Alright, so we know these fish are wusses and, uh, they'll get blown away. Here's some bones, in case uh, I was looking for bones. Uh, 
I appreciate that all of the yucca fish have uh, underbites and all the Lely fish have overbites. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so probably. Oh, oh, we eat. We're per we're piranhas. We eat the bones. I don't think that's accurate, but okay. Fish food frenzy. <laughs> oh, can I eat these guys? Now oh, that's disturbing. Extra disturbing because those jellyfish are kind of human shaped. Yeah. <laughs> nice! You committed murder! <laughs> You've unlocked mass genocide! I can't believe there's a, a homicide tonic. <laughs> that is certainly moody. you see the vehicular manslaughter tonic. <laughs> I suppose that's why they're shopping carts as well, because they needed something inorganic. Uh, just because they're underwater right here? Well, that and otherwise we would strip the flesh out of them in 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, true. Alright, now what delightful uh, name that rhymes with trolley does this trolley have? Jolly? No, Jolly was another guy. Uh, do you just live down here now? Okay, later. So, seriously, are we just leaving you here? I think so. Okay. <laughs> 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 <Ow. laughs> 
am I supposed to feel sympathy? <laughs> Makes Question you wonder, mark? don't I? <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. Alright, well maybe I will try going in here? No, I won't. For some reason, it reminds me of just all uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day and all of the stuff you end up doing there. Just like throwing the villagers into the blood grinder because that's what you gotta do, I guess. Friggin' making the cows uh, uh, poop and then boring them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And Yuka was never the same again. Lily was largely unaffected, though. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so once again, I am here. Nah, just wishful thinking. So, I bet you whatever we do in here, that leads out to that other pipe. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna bail here. All right. We'll have to get uh, poor old uh, Firebrand uh, sorted out later. I think the next world gets the most talk out of any of them besides travel stack, so that yeah. might be interesting. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely flying blind at this point, so so that'll be cool. Uh, I, I don't know if it's all positive talk, but it gets the most talk. Well, it's something? Yeah. Looks like a casino. Yep, that's just definitely it. Alright. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. Oh, right, this this just opens the door. Okay. Alright, are we gonna get another quick fire quiz? It's been a bit. Come on, game. You know you want to. Each type of ghost rider requires different tactics to capture. Pay attention. Here we go. Alright, we're in it, lads. So, uh, there's three of them, I guess. Ten questions, so that's going to be ten hacks. So, normally, the qu normally the questions have to do with like paying attention to stuff that in the past, but uh, that's just a warm up, I'm sure. <laughs> I do love their their screenshots. Okay. And that's another twofer. Oh crap. Oh, did I start with? Okay, that was six. Oh. 
three. Is it actually called Yukopedia? Yes, it is actually. Although it's probably based off of this game and other, the other way around. Oh boy, okay. This one I'll need help with. I was black, wasn't it? I don't remember. Nope. What do you mean, another life? He's been watching. Uh, buddy bubble. I think that's just worth going to be worth one. Yep, okay. Oh, never mind. Final quiz? Um... Are, are they going to be like, just kidding, there's one more. I'd feel disappointed well, if, if they... paying attention. I'd feel disappointed if they didn't. Yeah. Even if it's much, much, much less good than either Tower of Tragedy or Furnace Fun. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, I liked I liked the visuals of this area a lot, hey, actually. We're back outside. Yeah. That's an interesting choice, but I dig it a lot. Alright, now these guys, we're gonna have to deal with them. So we're probably getting the thing that lets us beat them quick. Okay, so it looks like it's a casino world and a space world. Can I get into the space world right now? Probably. Don't forget to check my new time. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that a look-see shortly. Nope. Alright, I probably get some sort of super omega stomp in uh, casino land. Sure, why not? Yeah, alright, what's our new murder tonic? Hold your breath longer underwater. Well, that's uninteresting. Okay. Hello. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you were right, this will probably help you pass those spy things. Alright. So, so how does that work? Wait, so that's a paint can and that's a capital B mug. Cute. Oh, okay. You should go back and see if you can do anything with that guy, that, that scanner dude. 
Well, that, uh, that camera I just snuck past, uh, that, uh, probably would've been all like, hey, man. Well, not that camera, the, the sentry. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh. Yes, he won't let me out. Drains are, uh, juice like nobody's business, though. Uh-huh. Here. Just since I got so anyway. Was there anything new? You know, I think that's, uh... I think that's... Uh, I think the hold the breath one was new. Oh. Okay, so I can't actually attack him, though. Huh. It's kind of an interesting effect with their eyes, though. They still got eyes. Yeah. I, I think, think visually speaking, this outdoor area is definitely my favorite so far. Oh, and that's got... that's probably where we're gonna fight him. Yeah. Got good atmosphere with the fog and everything. Yeah. I have to exhaust this guy? Uh, just let sleeping dogs lie, I guess. I think you have to hit him when he's glowing or something. Or not glowing. Something like that. Just need to attack him when he's not red. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, alright. I was waiting for him to turn yellow. That's... Hardest boss in the game. It was a lot harder um, in that uh, that one dark cave. There's one of those guys. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, this is just it. Okay. Yeah. I almost want to poke around a little more, actually. Uh, just while I'm out here. The slide from the top, slippy edition. Not slippy enough, my friend. Oh yeah, this is cool. On the top, now I stepped up. How I stepped up, step edition. Okay. How far does this go? Not to the top, I suppose. Oh, gross miscalculation. We saved it, we're good.
this is a way to backtrack. Okay. And over here, what do we have? The ledge. Okay. I am gonna have to check out what's down there, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think, uh, I do really, really like the sense of scale here. Uh-uh. Novel hovel. Okay. So what, am I dragging each of these books onto, uh... Oh, wait, there's buttons on either side, though. Oh, well, then. Well, I can... Can I push? Why can I push? See, is there any indication on which way I have to do it, or... I guess I'll just alternate. Oh, nope. I have to do it the way that it tells me to. Oh, I don't actually have to grab it. I can just run into it. So it's just trial and... Oh, I guess you can just test it with yourself. This is kind of silly. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even need to move the last one. Yes, oh. you did. Darn. <laughs> Thank you for playing the Wonderment sound uh, twice, game. So that I that is, that is what we call a non puzzle. It's puzzling why that's considered a puzzle. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna drop down. Oh yeah, baby. No fall damage. Domino edition. Okay, yeah, I dig it. So, like, do I just do that from this side? It has to be from this side. Here we go. Aw, really? Aw, alright. Well, we'll just platform, I guess. I get the impression I'm not supposed to be platforming on these. Uh, so, um, hitboxes aren't quite right on here. Or collisions aren't quite right. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of players would try that. But yeah, that's pretty awkward. Not sure why those exist. Man, we were we were almost excited to have a cool moment where you knock over the dominoes. Man. And then the game was like, nope. Now granted Well done. What is it? There we go. Granted, this big button, clearly, we can't stomp on it, so we have to get the books to fall somehow. Maybe I have to, like, use a sonic burst? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. Alright, no. Probably there's a super push option in our, our move that we get in this new world. Sure. It's like, or we'll have to or we'll have to hit a switch that makes them automatically fall themselves. Oh. 
Somehow that that's the most depressing uh, answer of all. Yeah, that's also the most realistic. Yeah. All right. Capital Cashino. Cashino? Uh huh. Do I put the emphasis on the cash or do I try to sound Scottish? Well, you always put the emphasis on the cash. And how do you know? Or is that just general pessimism? Alright. We probably got time to do a little bit of this. Alright. What do you got for me, game? Hieroglyphics. Okay. It's like uh, that one famous um, casino. What is it, Luxor? Yeah. Rude. Is is he just here? Is he just here? <laughs> Why is he giving us pages? He likes money that much. I appreciate that he's got a slight slouch to how he sits. Uh -huh. Okay, so basically this is a whole world of those stupid uh, uh, raccoons from uh, Sunshine and their blue coins. Yep. Which I think is why it's so controversial. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Alright, what are we working with? Reptile Rush is the only one. Uh, spin Dash, just like Speedy Gaming Icon Trouser. Okay. Alright, that's cute. I definitely don't think this bird spins. Hopefully not. Oh. Don't repeat the joke. Okay, yeah, and I use that to punch through glass. I see. This one actually does seem platforming related, so I, I don't mind this one at all. Let's see, so what was it? I do this and then... Okay. Alright, who the hell are you? Only mildly racist. Figured. See, though, this, this is a setup exactly like in the other area, which means that there's no point in having to do it twice, because that just, it, it doesn't add anything to do it twice. It's exactly as difficult the second time around. I just want to make sure you have the laser grid. At least this this world's cool to navigate just visually and stuff. Yeah, I always I always like the casino aesthetic in Sonic games and whatnot. Are they just? They're decks of cards. Oh, they're actual living decks of cards. Yeah. I thought for a sec they were in like really crappy uh, cardboard costumes. <laughs> no. Well, they are, but the, there's a reason for that. Okay, so that's not gonna... I probably have to spin dash into it. Also surprised that they actually called a spin dash. Like, I would... I'm used to... Well, that's kind of fun, actually. Like, I think of uh, Pac-Man's rev roll and just... The idea that, well, let's call it something that isn't Spin Dash. Yeah, you, you don't get much more blatant than that. Very nice of them to wait around while I charge my Spin Dash. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're Spin Dashing? Okay. Just a sec. I wouldn't want to be annoying. Alright, let's 
Let's see. I can only think of condoms. Yeah, that's probably what they mean. Yeah. So, how should I be doing it? Should I go back to uh, not capital B every time uh, I get 10, or should I just keep doing uh, uh, I, I, I would just um, cash them in when you got a lot, or maybe at the end of the session. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. But I did get a solid 10 running through that, so it did equate to just getting a pagey there. Yeah. Are they peeing? That is at crotch level. That's a jug, again at crotch level. He's not doing anything yet, I probably have to activate him. Uh, it looks like he's probably going to be spitting it up, but entirely possible he ends up peeing too. It's just the suggestion of peeing. This, what do you what do you think this is, Mother of Three? I forgot about that in Mother Three. Yep, yeah. it's a porky statue. That's right. <laughs> I suppose I could just as easily swim around here. But eh. Alright, let's see. So I got all that. There's one over here. Now that was only four. Uh, so. At the very least, they are trying to shake up the order that they do these in. It's not really much of a gimmick, it's just. What? What? I think uh, I took fall damage? I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't really much of a gimmick, it's just like... We're going to divide the pagey into ten pieces. So now Sweet. there's more collectibles. But yeah, that was very strange. Alright. We might as well talk to her while we're here. Scaled. I don't get it because she's an octopus. They don't have scales. Actually, I want to finish up over the, at the fountain here, foist. Need to figure out if I can uh, get myself to get ganked on the friggin' fall damage. Alright. 
So it's... Ow. That sucked. So it's kind of a slingshot. Uh, Yo-yo thing. Huh. Okay. Alright, so let the record show. I, uh, uh, when I'm in a bubble, I have no traction underwater due to buoyancy, but I also cannot, uh, a jet of water completely does not impact me. There's something all the way at the top there. Oh, that camera shift keeps messing me up. Got it. You and got the thing. It was an extra container of heart. Wait, maybe it. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Ah, darn that Z axis. I get the last quills. Yeah, you know it. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that was seven. Not an even amount, so they definitely are shaking it up. C'est fini. Alright, now what do we have in here? Is this a pig from the... Yeah, it's one of the pigs. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna need to win the slot machine. Yeah, probably. Probably you and Laylee are the winning one. Yeah. I just jump. Alright, banana. No, I think you have to ground bound on it. Probably. There we go. Alright. Snowman. Or no, it's the guy with the hat. It's the one before guy with the hat, so it's, uh... Damn. It's a slow machine. Oops. Darn, I did that same thing. Alright. Okay, so it's actually... There we go. So it's a watermelon, probably, you want to aim for. I think it's grapes, actually. Maybe grapes, yeah. yeah there we go. Right. Oh, and just there it is right there. Alright, so this is probably a real jumpy thing. It's a fly thing. Okay. 
they had to do the B eventually, so... Might as well be now, I guess. Definitely a good way to make it useful and whatnot. Oh. Oh, but there's quite a bit of scale to this world. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's Kardos. Wait. Ah, uh, nothing for the bullseye? No. That's just a fancy pattern. Probably I am meant to be exploring this as uh, Yuka and Lele, not as a helicopter. Either or, I guess. Oh, uh, will it not let me interact with people as the helicopter? Nah. Oh wait, maybe. Can't do anything with that since I got no tongue. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to be busting the broken ones. I guess that makes sense. Uh, there's another one with just four. Weird. Yeah, it looks like there's a whole platforming sequence I gotta do to get up there, or around there. The, the problem is, I never know when I am and I'm not breaking the game. Yeah. Oh, a lot of times it's nice to give a game a the benefit of the doubt and not try to break it too hard if you think it'll be more fun if you don't but in this game sometimes it's it's difficult to know where that line is yeah hey it's us yep I don't know why but maybe he just greatly admires us that's sweet all right, oh, hold on. Warning, under construction. Please enjoy the main hall attractions or turn to your... Okay. That's probably that what... Was rich. <laughs> that was written pretty threateningly. That's probably what gets expanded. I see. Um, that's that's a very interesting hint. I wonder where it is. Probably the storage room. You really think? It, it might be like the storage room. 
Oh wait, no, that's a safe. Well, a safe is technically a storage room. In response to what you were saying earlier, maybe you should save the transformation for after you've explored as ukulele, i.e. because that way it'll be easier to tell what specifically you need the helicopter for. Inclined to agree, yeah. Again, I must note, helicopters, generally not uh, things considered to have uh, uh, DNA. Not generally, no. Turtle hydrinks. Okay. Right. I'm sure that's the token. Oh, I've got to win the token from this machine. So, they... The design for this world is to incorporate less design. Because they keep reusing these slot machines? That, and there's not actually a, a challenge here, it's just, uh... Hold on. Okay. Yeah, it's not really... There's not really a challenge here, it's just, uh... Uh, it, it's just you need to get the thing from over here. Uh... I'm not quite sure what you mean. Uh, that sucked. Um, like... So, Rextro's here. I need to get the, uh, arcade coin. This almost certainly has the arcade coin. So like, oh, they're not actually cha designing an obstacle course for me, they're just like, just, just go over here, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, because it's like, isolating the entire exploration platforming segment to a slot machine. Darn. It's too late. Definitely have to do it on the grape. Yeah, okay. There we go. Like the only difference between just like not having the coin at all was that you had to do that slot machine. It's like you really wanted it to be about the slot machine in this world. I don't know. Well, everything's about the slot machines in this world, I guess. I guess. All right. 
It, uh, but, uh, make, find some way to make each slot machine different from each other, then. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> or, you know, it might be good is to have, like, totally different casino games. Do one that's all, like, uh, roulette. You could, you could probably make a interesting platforming segment out of a roulette table. Or like... Um... You're not gonna let me fight him? Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Even just simple things like blackjack or whatever. Is this just a uh, infinite runner one, or nope? You okay. have to win. It's just very long. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a slow down button. Oh. So. Oops, missed a quill. Time to start over. Oh, what the chances? Yeah. No, 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 no. Really? Really? Come on, come off it. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's easy to get caught in a combo like that. Here's some points. I think we're coming to the end, too. Uh -huh. oh, shoot, okay. Once more. With feeling. I...
Well, but you just slow right down. What's the point of rushing up if uh, you slow back down? Or like you can't maintain a lead. Instability doesn't seem to help much there either. No, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, come on. You have three health remaining. Gotta make this count. Not shown here, making it count. Really? Frig. Last health point. Me. Think you've got too far back. <laughs> the thing that gets me is I'm gonna have to do this again. Even after I get it. I think. Unless he just is like friend did the hard game. Pagey. Wow. SG says he had trouble with this one too. Alright. Come on, come on. Where even are you guys? Jeez Louise. SG wonders if you can roll into the enemies and hurt them that way. Honestly, I almost... I'm kind of afraid to test. Yeah. That's fair. Well, we'll see. I can, but it... does stop do so. immediately. Yeah. Does not sound seem worth it. Oh, they're just slower than uh, the screen scrolls, so even if I'm uh, dodging everything, I'll eventually fall behind. Come on. Last health. Come on. Come on. No, no, oh, what? Ah, phooey. This is long. Good grief. Wait, would this even be for a pagey? It couldn't, due to the layout of the world. I suppose he could give us play tokens, or whatever. Yeah, probably, he'll probably give us coins. Huh. Alright.
Come on. So what do the quills even do in this? Just raise your score? Yeah. It's almost worth not even going for them. Well, I'm just going, just getting them in case there's like, uh, they do the high score thing. Yeah, probably fair. So good. Ah, uh, no one to blame but myself. You know, I could just see how long it lets me stay like that. Yeah. Whenever you're that far back, you should definitely roll to get further ahead. The problem is there's not always a lot. Uh, I don't always know what's ahead of me, so... If I yeah. just roll blindly into it, I know that's just gonna exacerbate things. Yeah, but you were invincible right then, so it probably would have been a good chance. How the hell did that last so long? That worked out. Come on. What? Ah. Here we go. Oh, I missed one. That's it. We're done. Reset. Just, just give me the goods. <laughs> On a line feed, that's cute. Everybody, it's mini game time. <sighs> oh, that's pretty high, actually. I have to. Uh, that's way higher than what I got. I think. Maybe. What is it? Uh, I need uh, twenty-five thousand. All right, all right. Let's see how we do. That's a slowdown. Come on! Okay, that one doesn't really help anyway. Yeah, no, they're kind of useless, aren't they? The, the one later is useful, but that one, not really. Okay, yeah, this one's... Fine. 
I need a good open stretch. Damn it! Oh, each time you get hurt, you lose points. Roll. There we go. Here we go. I can't roll when I've got a power-up going. Ah. Weird. Close to the end. I need to speed up, but I don't. Oh, I was just about to. Damn it. Oh boy, I hope I can make enough here. Probably not. No, I don't think that's enough. Oh, not quite. You needed 24,000 and you got 21.8. It's just a matter of how many times you die because each time you lose a lot of points. Like 8,000 or something. Oh, the music's being doubled and I can't hear you, if you were talking. Alright, we'll try that. Does that sound any better? Uh, the stream ended. Uh, yeah, I did that for you just a sec. Blah, 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 a little bit of this. Okay, there's game audio and getting game audio for you. All right. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Let's see. Uh, okay. That was weird. Okay. Wonder why I doubled the music. Uh, oh, whatever. All right. Uh, this will have to be my last try. Yep. I don't blame you. This is kind of a bit much. Thank you. 
There we go. Yeah, it was worth it to not take the hit. Yeah. Crap. I'm choking. Damn it! You're still okay, I think. Oh boy. Come on. Give me some space. Damn it! I think you still might be okay. Come on. It's gonna be real close. Come on. None of that. Here we go. Oh, I'm out of juice? Damn it. Damn you! Not enough. Yeah, not, not enough. Good try, but not enough. Uh, Man, they have to have a juice meter on this one, too? Jesus. It's hard to predict when your juice meter and when the cycles and when you're going to fall behind. and It's hard to line all that up. Yeah. It's kind of like you have to have foresight that you can't expect the player to have. Yeah. You have to plan ahead for obstacles that aren't reasonable. But... It's just lots uh, of weird physics with that. I'll have to try that again next time. It's, yeah. It's just getting late for me, so I'll have to... I, I, I don't blame you at all. It'll probably be easier next time, but... Yeah, yeah that, that, that's a bit much for that minigame, for sure. It's just all the same dude. One doesn't have a hat. And one doesn't have a stash. But... Two don't have, have hats, actually. Well, and that's a pig. But all right, yeah, I gotta... <laughs> Yeah, I got a call um, here. We'll we'll do the we'll do this next week and um, Wednesday we are going to finish Paper Mario Colors and also a surprise. Indeed. So we uh, hope to see you there. Uh, hope you had fun and uh, look forward to doing this next time. Yep. See you next time. See ya. <laughs>